It's me again, y'all. Strike while the iron's hot, right? Because y'all know I do this off the dome, no written scripts. Even though I probably should do it that way. But, you know, I feel like that might mess up my spirit. When the spirit's talking. Just the original original alley of it. So, you know, every day you get on Facebook, you see a lot of people complaining about how men and women are. Discussing it, one thing, but complaining about it, saying, um, you know, or just pointing the finger. Let's just say that. Pointing the finger. Now, honestly, what I try to do in my videos is expose, not necessarily point the finger, because I always tell y'all, I feel that whatever women are doing is kind of a result of what men are doing. Whatever men are doing is kind of a result of what women are doing to them. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not really pointing the finger at anybody because I understand why the opposite gender is, for every action there's a reaction or whatever, blah, 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 right? So I'm about to bust y'all head. If you have a big head, turn this off now. If you thought you was the shit, I'm the shit, blah, 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 turn this off now. No, nah, matter of fact, don't turn this off now. It's time to bring you back down to reality and taste some of this humble pie. You know what I mean? Why I'm here, I'm going to strike while the iron's hot. Now, people just don't get it, man. There's a such thing as called options and competition. And there's a such thing as called, um, there's a such thing called taste, desire, preference, Right? Until you pick somebody that thinks you are the best they can do. And you feel the same way back. Well, we you already know how you feel about somebody. But people cl complain that they can't find the right woman or man. And the direct result of this really is this, man. It boils down to this, y'all. The reason why you can't find the right woman or man is because the women and men that you are liking don't really think you're the best they can do. And that's just the reality that, that you have to accept. If they think they can do better than you, the worst that can happen is you convince them to mess with you, right? You're basically like a rebound. You convince somebody to mess with you. You really not, they tight, but they're like, fuck it, man. I ain't got nobody else. You know what I mean? It's going to be a bad relationship for you. It's not going to work out in the end because they, by default, from the very beginning, did not think this is the best I can get, man. There ain't nothing better than this. Both people have to feel this way the relationship will not work. Sometimes people feel like that at first, like this is the best I can get. And then the feelings change. They feel like they could do better than you. So by default, they feel it start to change. It's not really about this love potion, Disneyland bullshit that they feeding y'all. That's not really what, unfortunately, you know, unconditional love, I ain't gonna say only exist in, in parents and kids and shit, but when it comes to women and men loving each other, man, it's really based off of what somebody wants. Bottom line, man, it's not really based off of who's a nice woman, who's a nice man, who's doing this and that for you, because if that's the case, you would not have not one person ever uh, wanting to be with somebody who is not good for them. It would not happen by default, y'all. See, a lot of y'all, you don't understand. You just don't want to accept the reality that you are not the best that someone thinks they can get. And if you aren't, this is why, um, like for example, you see women on Facebook a lot. You know, men aren't men no more. That's why women ain't been men, blah, blah, blah. You know what's happening to them women screaming that shit? They're dealing with men who think they're okay to fuck or something, but he doesn't think the world of you. He doesn't think you're the best he can get. If he did, he would fall in line. Imagine you getting the best job that you think you'll ever get. You're gonna go hard at that job, ain't you? But if it's a job that, yeah, that's all right, but I know I can get better than this, or if you think you can get better, or if you want better, you're not gonna go that hard. This is why I tell y'all all the time, 
make sure you're the number one choice. And this don't just go for men. It goes for women too. If you're not their number one choice, they're really not going to, they might fuck with you. They might even stay with you for a couple years or something. But let somebody come along that they really like better than you for the whole time. What do you think is going to happen? They might not leave you, but they'll cheat, they'll cheat behind your back. People don't do shit like this to somebody they really want. Bottom line, that's what it boils down to. Are you somebody they really want or not? Again, two people can start out really wanting each other, and one of them could change. And that's where you have that uh, relationship collapse at. The only way a relationship will work forever is both people forever feel like this is the best I get and this is the best I want forever. That's the only way they're going to move accordingly and get their all. If not, they're not going to give their all. So if you're watching this, a lot of y'all on Facebook always talking about no good woman or man. You're probably dealing with a woman who really desires somebody else or man. They really desire somebody else, but they just fucking with you because A, they can't get what they really desire. Or, you know, they're lonely, out of loneliness. They don't want to be alone. That's a dangerous place to be. To be with some dealing with people who really don't really want you. But they'll just deal with you for now. Why don't they want you? Because they think they can do better than you. Or they like somebody who they think's better than you. Example, if a girl likes Puerto Ricans or some shit, but she's like, oh, I'll settle for uh, I'll settle for the black guy, I guess. You're not really what she really desires, dog. And there's really no change in that. You might convince that woman to be in a relationship with you or something like that out of default because she can't get the Puerto Rican guy she wants or whatever. But deep down inside, you're not what she really desires. Same thing, vice versa with y'all women. You wonder why men aren't acting the way they're not they're not acting. Especially if you're already fucked. I'm going to say that for the women. Because sometimes, you know, a man might not act right because he don't think you like him or some dumb shit like that. Let's just say you already fucked. Matter of fact, you can say that for the women too. Because we all know if, if you, if you a woman usually, once you uh, sleep with her, she kind of has no choice but to try to see where it's going. Nine times out of ten. Unless you just trash or something. She might just say, fuck that. But, you know. The point is, y'all are messing with people who really don't think you're the best, man. It's that's just it's just that simple. Now, a lot of y'all going to say, well, I got, a, I got a PhD. I got money. I got this. I got that. That don't matter. Why don't that matter? Because that only matters to the right person for you. In other words, a lot of y'all men, I got more money than him. He's a bum. It don't matter if she likes that bum better than you. It don't matter. That's what she likes and nothing you can do about it. If you got money, you got shit going on, that's good for a woman that likes you, that likes those things. But it's not going to make a woman like you if she likes somebody else better. She likes that guy better, man. It don't matter if he broke or not. That's the guy you want to be. You want to be uh, find a woman that likes you whether you got nothing or not. And you wonder why the things you do, the flexing and all that shit, why it don't impress women, right? Because those women don't like you. Same thing with a woman. She can show her body 24-7, right? On social media to the crowd, right? Yeah, she's going to get a lot of uh, men to uh, pay attention, right? But only only men that will commit to her is men that actually are really interested in her. The rest would just probably pump it up. That's it. So you a man, you get with a woman who only is with you for survival or something like that, not because she desires you. Then you're just beta bucks, man. You just beta bucks and you best believe that next guy that she really desires can fuck her. I'm just going to keep, I'm not going to sugarcoat the shit. Y'all want to ignore this shit and, and, and try to just uh, go by, well, I got her to uh, be my girlfriend or something. That's not enough because you got to make sure that that girl really liked you for you before you even committed to her. Matter of fact, why you even ask her to be your girlfriend? She'll ask you if she really liked you like that. 
She'll ask you where that's going. Where's it going? I need to know where this is going. But you know what? People are always going to keep liking people who really think that they're not. It, it's funny. It's I don't know what it is, but nine out of ten times, people are attracted to people who think people are attracted to people who think they can do better than those people. That's why you see the fuckery. You would not see the fuckery if two people, hey, this is the best. I think I like this the best. And the other one, I like you the best. You think you're going to see fuckery out of that? I highly doubt it. Unless someone's feelings change. But when you got one or the other, you know, feeling one way, one interest thinks is 5%, the other interest is 10%, it's off balance, man. You're going to give all that wife, wifey type of, you know, um, how can I say this? You're going to give all that wifey benefit energy to a guy who just sees you as mm, uh, something to buy a sleep with or like a girlfriend or something. Somebody to kick it with. He doesn't see you as wifey. So by default, what you think going to happen? You're not going to get nothing out of that. A big old goose egg. That's what you're going to get out of it in the end. And then you're going to think it's, it's men. But really... It's the men that you like that don't, they just don't like you. You don't want to accept that. And it's, and it's not just women. It's men too who are doing this. A lot of y'all men, you're trying to get with women that don't like you like that, dog. She likes somebody else. You're not the only motherfucker walking this earth. Some of y'all can't handle that though. So that's why you keep trying to push and keep trying to make a woman like you that don't like you. If a woman likes you, you'll know. Or should I say she has some interest in you? Because technically, how does she really know she like you if she don't know you? But she'll know she has interest in liking you. And you will too. And that usually only happens if she thinks you're the best option she could possibly get. Or he. If both people don't think that, yeah, somebody might fuck around, y'all might sleep together or something, but it ain't gonna lead to much. Because why? Both people do not feel... Like, this is the best. I like you the best. They don't feel that way. For all y'all people, well, I got muscles, I got money and all that. That only matters. It still, it goes back to who does she like the most? Because there's another guy with muscles. There's another woman with titties, ass, all that. So it goes back to who they like the most. And this is most dangerous for women because men will still... Women usually steer clear of men they don't really like like that. You'd be lucky if she speak. I'm just being honest. But men, they don't really have to like you. And they still, well, I, I, shit, I just need something there to try to fuck or something. That's the danger of being a woman, unfortunately. And that's why you see so many women, they think all men are bad. Why? Because guess what? They had that opportunity to deal with the men she likes the most, right? She has that opportunity to, to at least, I say it all the time. She has the opportunity to at least fuck that guy. That don't mean that guy really likes her like that. And he don't have to like her at all. At all. Y'all know this new saying that they got out now? At all. Hey, a, a man don't like to have to like you at all. If you're a woman watching this right now, he don't have to like you at all. To sleep with you, to act like he likes you, to sleep with you. Or to be on his best behavior and, and tell he finds a new victim or something. Some men will... They ain't got no place to stay Be on their best behavior Acting like they like you so much Just to have a place to stay So why am I saying this? Or let me explain this a little deeper Now you have some women They look good They got they got some money They got, they got shit going on for themselves Right? And to a lot of men There's something special but it's that, and, but to that one guy, a lot of times the one they want, right? She's really not that special. What do you think is going to happen in that situation? She's going to get the opportunity to kick it with that guy, and he's going to pump and dump, and she's going to be frustrated and pissed, and now all men got to suffer because she, because she thinks she's better than them other guys that actually like her. Just like that guy thinks he can do better than that than her. It's almost always when somebody likes somebody, they by default think they can do better. I don't know why that is, but nine times out of 10 that is. It's hard to find 
uh, mutual likeness, should I say, liking in a person. It's hard to find it. So all of y'all out there on Facebook, every day, I see it every day. Y'all gonna keep doing it because y'all don't believe what I'm saying. Y'all don't believe that it's because a person don't like you like that. You're so full of yourself and so full of your, your big head that you think, nah, nobody would not like me. My pussy's the best and all this and all that. But you, if, but if a person really like you that much, then why are you struggling with them? Why ain't they acting right? Ask any woman who who deals with a who actually picked a man that actually liked her a lot. Basically, he does whatever the fuck she wants to do, pretty much. I'm not saying I agree with all that completely, but it's the truth. She don't have no power struggle with this dude at all. Same thing with y'all, the men. They don't, men who pick a woman that likes them, they don't have no power struggle with these women. It ain't all this, I can't get her on a date, all that bullshit, man. That's why I tell y'all to fall back if somebody really don't like you like that. I can, and, and it's hard to tell pre-sex, but after sex, it should be clear as day. After y'all have sex, and you still see that bullshit, especially for you women. I'm gonna say for a man, after you invite her out, and she, she act funny, you know what time it is. A woman, unfortunately, after you, you let him smash, he still acting funny, you know what time it is. Or maybe, yeah, I'm gonna just say that. I'm gonna just say that. that's why so many men act funny once a woman let him have it. So many. How many times have, as a woman, you know, unfortunately, in your whole entire life, where once you uh, mess with a man, everything changes. You hear it all the time. Once sex is involved, everything changes. Nah, ain't, everything didn't change. That motherfucker just showed who the fuck he was. He changed back into who the fuck he was. He took the mask off. That's what happened. That's exactly what happened. But if you really liked him, it, he would act like what they were, what they call pussy whipped. That's how a man that really like you act. He acts pussy whipped. But unfortunately for women, they don't want a lot of them don't want that. They feel like I don't want a man that I can walk over. So they kind of misuse, even though I get it, you don't want a man all like acting all weak and shit like that. But unfortunately, that's how it is when a guy like you. He gonna act somewhat like that. He gonna act somewhat pussy whipped because he really like you. You know, he really feel like you the best. But unfortunately, when people get that, they don't know how to act when they actually get somebody who feel like they the best or they just don't want that person so they don't act right it's one of it's one of the two reasons it's either one or the other either they they don't know how to act when they get something good right or they don't really want what's good you know that that good that that offering they don't want that person so they don't act right but the problem with the people is who don't see this is they think that you know they're they're PhDs or she knows how to cook and clean and he does this he does that which are all great things they think these things by default will um, make people um, like them because so many people say I'm looking for a good woman I'm looking for a good man but they don't leave out they leave they do leave out the part they leave out the part of but you gotta be what I really want because if not if you're not what they really want none of that shit matters no matter if you cook or clean for him, no matter what you do, you're not who he really wants. So he's not going to, he might, he might come live with you or some shit like that, but he's not going to give you exactly what you want. And this is why a lot of people are, have to settle because they can't find exactly what they really want. Or if they do find it, it you know, you're not exactly what they really want. So you have to settle, right? In your eyes, you're settling because it's not what you really want, should I say. I've had people tell me that. He's not what I really want, but I guess I'll just settle. I've heard it with my own eyes. I'm not going to say who said it. You know what I mean? But I've had a woman tell me this recently. He's not what I really want, but I guess I'll just settle. Mm, mm, mm. It just goes to show you, man. That uh, people do settle for people they really don't want. Or they'll deal with people they really don't want. A.K.A. She's fuckable, but I don't really want to be with her. Right? 
Same thing. Same thing. But of course people are going to blow this off because they still want to deal with the people they like the most and they hoping and praying, you know, um, he'll change. Even though she already let him smash and he's still acting funny because you're not what he really wants. Oh, he'll change. You know. So I'm ignore these other guys, you know. And a lot of times the reason why she don't like them other guys now is because she let somebody smash, right? And now the feelings are more towards that guy. She feel like obligated to try to make that guy, make it happen with that guy. So now all the other guys get ignored now. When she really just kind of should have screened that guy out, even though she might like him the most, she kind of should have screened him out from a distance. You know what I mean? And still kind of screen out others too at the same time. Instead of, you know, going too deep with the guy that she ain't even sure if he likes her back. Same vice versa. But this is what women mean when they say, if a guy really likes you, he'll go all out for you and all this. And that is true. But you got to give back in return. I think some women have misunderstood that. But at the same time, I don't think they misunderstood it at all. I just think when it comes to some females, you're not what they really want. So they'll take the part of you go hard and give them move mounts for them. But since you're not what they really want, they're not going to put that effort back into you. That's what some of you guys are seeing right now. You know, it's a double edged sword. She can't get the 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 female world can't get the guy they want nine times out of ten. So instead, since I can't get the guys I want because, you know, they probably like somebody they think they can do better than me, whatever. So we're going to make this game called, um, you know. If you really want one of us, you, you'll go hard and do everything for us and all that, which is true, but they'd leave out the part that they got to put in their part. But if you was them guys that they really want, they would do that by default. They would be trying to put in that effort to you. It wouldn't be just about, it wouldn't be all these rules. You got to move a mountain for me. Nah, she'd be like, yeah, I hope he does uh, move a mountain for me, but I'm going to try to help him move it because she likes you, see? When she likes you, she'll try to help you move that mountain. When she don't, I'm making rules for him. Now you got to move this whole mountain. Then I'll think about liking you. Same thing with a man. You got to do all this or that. Then maybe I'll wife you. But he's and more than likely with men, they're not even going to wife a woman unless they really like that woman. Plain and simple, man. And then they still might cheat and shit. Because you know? some men, they uh, they just want a woman. They're on a uh, beck and call. Then they want women on the side. So, you know what I'm saying? You, it's, it's a... It's a um, when you, when you're a woman, it's it's a dirty, it's real dirty, man. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna cap, man. I swear it's dirty when you're a woman, cause for one, you got men coming at you who might not like you just to sleep with you. Then you got men who will marry you and shit. They actually like you a lot and shit. They might like you the best, but they still feel they gotta have strange on the side. So I don't know. As a woman, I can see why women say all oh, men cheating all this shit. It makes a lot of sense if you really think about it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. But I do know this. <clears throat> Whether you like it or not, if you are struggling to uh, make a male or woman act right, it's because they really want somebody else. Like, even if they don't know this person. So, for instance, she likes the she likes guys who look like Wesley Snipes. But she don't know no. She might not know no Wesley Snipes, but she might know somebody like me, who has more to offer than what she could find, right? But she still really wants that Wesley Snipe motherfucker. I'm telling you, man, she just wants that guy to have everything I have, right? So nine times out of ten, what's what she gonna do? She gonna pick me for what I have to offer, and then she gonna pick that Wesley Snipe guy for the uh, lust part. This is why a lot of them juggle different women or men. Same thing with the men. This is why they juggle a lot of women. Because they like this one for this, this one for that, blah, blah, blah. Y'all get it. But if you was exactly what they wanted, it would be damn near impossible for them to even desire anything else out of a person. Because you are exactly what they want. How the fuck can you find anything else in other motherfuckers if this person is exactly what you want? But the problem is, it has to be both people that feel that way. Both people have to feel like this is exactly what I want. They have to feel that way, man. Or there's really no, there's nothing to build on at all. 
you might have fun playing around or something. But that's it. I ain't going no farther than that, man. And everybody out here getting burned and played because of that. And then you got social media makes it, um, it kind of clogs people's judgment of what they really desire in a woman, or man. And it makes it damn near to the point that what they desire is, is, is non-existent. They don't even exist. It just exists in a little head or they, their little, uh, delusional world. The man or woman don't really even exist. But it's just something they have built in their head, some ideal woman or man that they have built in their head that does not even exist. And if it does exist, you know what I'm saying? Here's the key. If it does exist, if these women or men do exist, which they do, but they're just not in the form of what they think they should be. If that makes sense. It's just not in the form of what they th think it should be. So in other words, there's a lot of women and men out here that are exactly what people be desiring, but it's not in the form of what they think it should be in, so they overlook it, or they don't fuck with it. That's why they say looks matter, because they do matter. Because you could be a woman or man that somebody exactly is looking for, but if you're not exactly what they desire as far as looks, what do you think will happen? They're not going to give you that chance to find out if you're exactly what they're looking for. It's not going to happen. So a lot of men say, well, you know, if I smash a woman, my, my, my pipe game's this good and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but if the woman don't desire you, you're not even going to get your foot in the door to smash the woman. So it don't even fucking matter. You might be the best sex you ever had, but is she going to give you that chance? Probably not if you're not from the surface what she desires. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. It's, it's a fucked up situation, but it's the truth. If you are not what they desire, what they truly think is the best, the best, like you the best, man. There's nobody better than her. The motherfucker had to be literally damn near pussy with her. This girl's the best, though. I can't fuck with this. I can't get no better than this. He's going to keep fishing, man. Same thing. Or he's not going to be satisfied if he does decide to fuck with you. Same thing with the women. If she wants a motherfucker that looks like Manny Pacquiao, but somehow, some way, I'm the only available motherfucker, or, you know, I might be the best available person for her agenda, like maybe financially or some shit. She might pick me, but she really wanted that, dog. So she's really not going to be satisfied in, in the end. She might have only picked me because she was lonely or some shit. Men might only pick you because he's on a sex drop. You know what I'm saying? And the social media, remember, the social media adds all this so-called competition to people. So they feel like they have more options available at the uh, click of their hands. Some say it's only women. That's bullshit. Men too. But it is mainly women that have the options at the click of their hand because of social media. So in other words, if there was no such thing as social media, she probably would think you might be the best thing available, right? So she probably would fuck with you because in her mind, that's the best dude probably available. Let me fuck with him. But since there's social media, you got light skin, dark skin, muscles, this, towel, skinny, the CEO, all this shit. So in her mind, she thinking maybe I could just do a little bit better than him. Same thing, vice versa with the men. Or I know she's a good woman, but look at all these other ones. Let me try to uh, hit some more of them up. See what I'm saying? It's like a fucking hamster in a wheel, man. Social media makes that shit fucked up, man. And not only just social media, you could take social media away. And just the way women and men are, how they are, you know, they're not really, they don't take, they don't value quality over quantity anymore. So in other words, he'd rather have 20 pussies instead of one. She'd rather have 20 males attention or 20 different men doing this and this. 
and this for me instead of one. So what, no matter what, it's hard to, for them to pair, they call it pair bond. It's hard for them to pair bond. They say only women, it only affects women. They say because of DNA and all this shit, when she sleeps with certain guys, you know, um, it makes it hard for her to pair bond with one guy. And I believe that, right? But I also believe it for men too. I don't think it's just women. I think it's men too. I think when men sleep around with a bunch of women, you know what I mean? I think it makes it hard for them to pair bond too with one woman. So you got a man with all these options and he's just going, oh, I'm just going to pick this one girl. Yeah, he probably would if what? If what, people? If he thinks that's the best that he can do, that's the only way he'll do it. On the woman, on the other hand, she's going to pick, like, yeah, like the man. She's going to pick the one she thinks is the best option. But the thing is this, here's a real kicker. The woman's always going to have that one that she thinks is the best option available at her hand to at least fuck see but a man is not right so guess what happens with the men since they're not always guaranteed by default at least going to be able to fuck the one they think is the best guess what's going to happen they're just going to sleep with women and not commit because the one the woman they really desire they can't get they can't even probably get a date with the woman right women can though and they might not get the commitment from the guy they want the most, but they definitely going to be able to. I heard, I heard it today. Y'all too easy. Y'all y'all smad. All this shit. 18-year-old girl at rallies. You know what I mean? Talking crazy like that. So that lets you know how deep the hole gets. It, 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 this shit is all over the place. This generation crazy. 18-year-old woman saying, men are too easy. What the fuck? You 18 and all this shit. Right? Even though she's speaking for younger men, but it don't matter. And she's right. Men don't have standards. They are too easy to smash and all that. And that's why women don't have respect for men. And that's why I say if you a man that have respect for yourself, you know what I mean? Only deal with women who um, respect you and shit, all the other shit, leave them alone because you should not suffer for the, the bullshit of these other men. Because they don't want to have standards. So you why should you suffer because women think that you're so replaceable and all this bullshit because men make it seem that way that's their fault let them deal with that circus you don't deal with it you stay to yourself if, if need be it is what it is you know what i mean and the same thing with women it could, same thing could be said men think that um you know women are only good for sex and this or that a lot of that directly is a response a, a, a result of how women are only offering sex to men and um, not wanting to do nothing else for a man at all. Don't want to bring him lunch or nothing. None of that. You know what I'm saying? So you can only blame that on women at the same time if you're a woman. Even though it doesn't give men a pass to the, the um, or women a pass to misuse this shit or abuse it. It don't matter. It still happens. It still happens. Bottom line, people. If you're not the one, then if you're not the one they think's the best, man. Celebrity crush, basically. That's the best way I can put it to y'all. If you are not their fucking celebrity crush, real life celebrity crush, then they're gonna keep fishing, man. Or they, they, yeah, they gonna keep fishing, right? And they gonna just keep you as whatever they can get from you. They're not going to stop right there. They're not going to cut off. They Here it is. They're not going to cut off the options for you, whatever options they got. They're not going to keep quit, quit. They're not going to quit fishing, and they're not going to cut off the options if they got any. Because some people might not really have options sitting around. They might really just be looking for one, but they're not going to stop with you. They're just going to keep looking. You know what I'm saying? So you're always going to have problems. You're always going to have problems with women and men. If you're not the one they want. And. To help y'all ego out a little bit. Sometimes you are what they want. They just can't see it for whatever reason. You're not in the form of what they want. Or some, some dumb shit. Clouds a mind to where they can't see. That you actually might be what they want. They just don't see it. 
You know what I'm saying? So it makes it seem like you're not the one they want, if that makes sense. Why you think so many people picked the wrong motherfucker? Because they thought that motherfucker, he, it looked good on paper. He or she looked good on purpose. That, that's exactly what I want. Then they find out that's exactly what I don't want. Then you have some people who didn't even like a motherfucker. And it ended up being exactly what they wanted. But sometimes that could be misled or misunderstood of, you know, um, you, you, there, they wasn't what you really wanted and you just got comfortable with them. So now you think that's what you want. You think it turned into some love or some dumb shit. You know what I mean? Then relationships usually end eventually. You convinced a woman or man to like you and shit, even though they didn't really like you in the beginning, you know, but they got kind of attached to you a little bit. They still desire who they really wanted. Make no mistake about it. Make no mistake about it. And that shit will show when they are around certain people that they really desire. Like certain types of people they like. Certain looks and all that shit. They'll still be kind of flirt with those people. Whatever. They just settle for you or come home to you. They really want that shit, man. It's, it's crazy, man. So I tell you all the time, man. Only deal with people who think you're the best. I don't know what other way to say it. But I understand that a lot of this shit I say is going to go over people's heads. And they're not going to listen. And they're still going to deal with people who don't think they're the best. So they're still going to get burned. No, no way around it. It don't matter how great of a woman or man you are. If it's not the one, you know, what they looking for. So maybe you are a, a guy that got you a business guy. That don't mean that don't even she might not even want a guy that has a job. She might want a guy in the streets. You hear that all the time. See, on paper, you really the best. You better, right? But she's not gonna pick you because that's not what she wants. Or for example, the bum that she takes care of and sleeps in her house. He don't even have a house. But on paper, you got the whole world. You can even give her a house. Don't matter. Because why? Because she, that bum is what she wants. You're not. It's not always about what you got going on. Some people might even say, look, why y'all think sometimes when a woman, you know, a man breaks up with a woman and then a woman be like, he's ugly. Or no, she's ugly. I can't believe you. You Look at his ugly girl. She, yeah, but she might treat him better than you. So it doesn't matter if she's ugly or not. That's your opinion, right? At that. At that, it's your opinion that she is ugly. But what if she is ugly? Maybe that girl treats him better. Maybe that's what he was looking for that you didn't give him. You know what I'm saying? But people aren't trying to hear it. Uh, that broke ass nigga. Ha ha ha. A lot of men do that. A lot of men, woman break up with a guy. You know, look at that broke dude. Don't matter if, she, if, if, if he might have shit that you wasn't doing that she's looking for now or whatever. So... That's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? You're not what they looking for, man. If you're not what they looking for, you've already lost the battle. You can't win. How are you going to win with somebody that don't even like you like that? How? That's why a lot of women I don't even look at in public. Because I can already feel the energy of, of a woman if she kind of finds me some what attractive or not i could tell and if she don't i won't even look her way unless she speaks to me i'm not all down that's the problem with a lot of y'all men you don't know how to feel the energy or the vibe of if somebody like you or not so you all down her throat why the fuck would i even give the time of day to a woman that don't like me I, it's different if a woman speaks high about it. that's different but i'm literally talking about a woman Walking down past you with her head down. She don't want you to say nothing to her. You don't even look her way. You put your head down or you turn your head the other way. Like she don't exist to. I would say that for women, but it's kind of like women really don't have that problem like that. When it comes to that. For the most part, men don't be putting their head. Let me avoid her. I don't want her saying nothing to me. But that happens to men all the time. And what do men do over there laughing and smiling all in her face? She don't want to hear nothing you guys say. What are you over there for? You're not the one she likes, dog. Get over it. If you was, you would know. This is what I'm telling y'all, man. Woman or man, if you was the one they really wanted, and I'm going to say after sex, 
I have to say that because I ain't gonna say after sex. After y'all been out a lot or something like that. Let's just say that. After y'all been out a lot, you gonna know. Or if after y'all didn't interact with each other, like you gonna know if somebody kind of like you. Well, it's di I know everybody's different. I get it, man. But I just feel like you kind of know to a certain extent if somebody has some type of interest in you. But, you know, again, I know why women are hopping on social media and always saying that men are liars and this and this because men have to lie to get sex from the women. They have to. They have to. And that's exactly what they're doing. You know, they're selling women a dream, making it seem like they like a woman a lot when they really don't just to get the sex. So that's where the deception comes in. And then women... Not all women, but some are flipping it like, hmm, okay, I'm going to do this to get a bag from a guy. I'm going to act like I like him to get shit from him, survival mode, so I can survive. But I really don't like him. I really want Chad down the street or Tyrone. Vice versa with men. I really want such and such down the street. You know, I'll fuck her, this or this. But I got to make this one act like I like her to get some sex or keep her in the rotation. It's fucked up, man. It's a fucked up game, dog. And if you are not sharp and you're not honest with yourself, that's the key. You're not honest with yourself. Then just, you deserve to get burned, I guess. Because um, I don't know what other way to tell it. Especially if you are a woman, you didn't slept with a guy. And you still wondering why he don't like you. You're like, come on, you know why. You know why. Because he doesn't see you as the fucking best. If he did, he would act damn near pussy whoop. I'm telling you right now. What you what people call pussy whoop, basically a man trying to make it go further. All in. I like her a lot. I'm all in. He would act like that. If he's still acting all like, ah, she ain't shit. After you like smash, that's the key. You know what I mean? You know what time it is. Sometimes even before. You know what I mean? To be honest. Sometimes even before. Because I highly doubt a supermodel coming up to a man and, and, and you know, or giving her, he hitting her up. And, and Come on, man. That dude definitely going to at least take her out once. At least. But a lot of times with men, they get big heads when a woman likes them. You know what I mean? When a woman lets them sleep with her. So, by default, a lot of women end up liking men. Or when women end up liking men, it don't usually work out because once that man knows, oh, she let me smash and everything, I'm good, I can relax and all this, he takes the mask off, man. <laughs> but that's what happens. Unless he never wore a mask and he really like you, it's one of two things. He either He's not wearing a mask and he really like you, or he's wearing that mask so he can smash. And once he smash, the mask gonna come off and you're gonna realize that he really don't like you like that. He's still fishing and doing this and doing that. You wasn't the one that he liked the most. You never was. Therefore, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pay for that. And it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's so unfortunate, man. Same thing with y'all men. Why she just stopped calling and all this and all that? Because a guy that came along that she actually really likes or likes better than you. Because sometimes they do like you. Sometimes women and men do like you, right? But then something comes along they like better. Or something comes along that they want to try that's new. You know what I'm saying? So they liked you then, now they don't no more. So whatever, man. That's just the way the game go. And if you're not sharp on your game, you're going to get game ran on you. I don't know what else to tell y'all. Good night.